Welcome to the First United Methodist Church in Marissa. We're here with our abbreviated worship service, and we're thinking maybe we will just do one more like this and be opening up a little bit after that. We're getting prepared for that case, and we hopefully this week we will hear an announcement, and next time we will be able to tell you that we will be opening up a little bit uh, after that. This is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers. We're glad to see all of you here, and we want to wish you a happy Father's Day. I did a little research on Father's Day, and the first time it was celebrated was in 1910 in the state of Washington, but it was not made a national holiday until 1972, and that was 58 years after they had made Mother's Day a national holiday. So fathers are way behind the Mother's Day celebration. The one thing I saw that I found very moving and thought-provoking is that don't, it was a statement that said, don't be a dead bod, be a father image. Think about that. Don't be a dead bod, be a father image. Good lesson for all of us fathers to try to do a little bit better job. The mothers do a good job, I must say, of being mother. Fathers sometimes are a little bit lax on being good fathers. But we have a birthday in the church today. Uh, we've got a, a birthday of Bentley Kirby has a birthday this week. And so uh, we want to sing happy birthday to that man. Key of C and C. I
saying. It says, on first thing, I'm sometimes up and I'm sometimes down, but still my soul feels heavenly bound. We need to realize that we're not always up. We don't always feel real spiritual. We don't always feel real good. But even when we feel down and maybe a little bit bad, we need to keep reminding ourselves that God is with us and we are still heavenly bound, even though everything's not going real well. So don't worry about getting down once in a while. You're going to get back up again after that. Next one we're going to sing is When the Saints Go Marching In. Oh, when the
Now, in for the church, I am going to respond to you, Kyle, with and say for this congregation. With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the teachings of Jesus Christ. We will pray that we will all be true disciples and walk in the way that leads to life eternal. As your pastor, Kyle, I announce that Kyle Simon is a full member of the congregation of Marissa First United Methodist Church. Welcome. We're to have you with us, Kyle. You may be seated. Now we will continue with our worship service. Amen. Oh, 
this virus. Lord, we pray that you would bring an end to the virus, that you might find a solution that we can look to. And we pray, Lord, that you would be especially with those who have had the virus and are suffering from it. We pray, Lord, that you would bless them with health, that you would bring healing to them, if it be your will, O Lord. We pray, O Lord, that you bring an end to this pandemic. We pray that you help us to be safe, that you would protect those who have not contacted the virus. And for those, Lord, too, that have other sufferings, that have that occur at all times. We pray, Lord, that you would touch them. If it be their body that is hurt, that you would touch it, that it might be healed also. Lord, we pray for this church as it comes into a new chapter. Particularly, we pray right now for Pastor Cody, that he might be given the spirit and the drive that you can give him, that the kingdom might be flourished by this new three-point charge, that in each, in each congregation that your, your will and your desire will be done. Bless and keep them in the future, O oh Lord. Now we come together as people of God with the prayer that you have taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now we're going to sing out of one of our favorite choruses. I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing.
As a member of Christ's Holy Universal Church, will you be loyal to the United Methodist Church and do all in your power to strengthen its ministries? Yes. As a member of this of the United Methodist Church, now I'm asking, will you be a faithful member of this congregation and participate in its ministries by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, and your service? Yes. I will. So I would say again to the members of this congregation, uh, you will be faithful to Joshua and you will help him in his service of the church. And I'm asking you, I am asking the congregation to make a commitment to Joshua because it's a teamwork that we have when we are members of the church. So hear this pledge that I make, Joshua, on, on behalf of the whole congregation. With God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the teachings of Jesus Christ. We will pray that we will all be true disciples and walk in the way that leads to life eternal. With great pleasure, I announce to the congregation here in Marissa that Joshua Kirby is a full member of the First United Methodist Church in Paris. What is it? Thank you, Joshua. You may be seated.
And now, may the love of God and the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you.